Hello everybody, welcome back to GTA 5, and welcome back to Los Santos. Now, this is the staple of Los Santos, its police department. Notably how incompetent they are at their job. But is it really them, or is it their vehicles? Well, to find out, today, we are going to take a look at just a few of the Los Santos Police Department vehicles. And we start off with one of the biggest vehicles in their arsenal. The Bravado Police Van. This is a lightly armored van used to transport the SWAT around Scott. It's got bull bars, it's got Rock and rock shielding on it on the windows. It is a and you have some bullet holes because this is Los Santos, and it's also no slouch for a van. <laughs> All right, a little bit of wheels fell off the line. That's 0 to 60 in, what, 8 seconds? Which, for an armored van, is not too shabby, considering it's a van to begin with. And then it weighs an extra half a ton. Yeah, this thing is actually quite good in the acceleration front. I don't know why they only use it as a blockade. But obviously, this is nowhere near as good as, say, this patrol car next to me. Which is, by far, the most famous police vehicle to have ever existed, ever. Yes, the this thing is made by Vavid. It's been a staple of the police industry for 20 years. And if you see one of these behind you, you know you're having a bad day. But out in the desert here with the sheriff's vehicle, are you really in danger? To find out, I'm going to do a timed stage off-road on this little trail here, because it is the desert after all. And I'm going to be in this to set a benchmark time to see if this can catch the other vehicle we're going up against. So, here we go. Alright, not a bad start for rear-wheel drive on the, the sand, the dirt. Heading through the rock formations now. It's a very narrow trail, I'll we'll be honest. Woo! Big tank slapper, Christ! Now, be weary over here, it is quite narrow. Heading into the hairpin. Oh, brakes are not good off road. Oh, sorry. My apologies. Um, well, the tax hours will pay for that later. That's very narrow. <laughs> it is a royal fun, I will tell you that, to just chuck it through on this dirt. It is very fun to slide around. Hey! <laughs> It's surprisingly good on the dirt. It's surprisingly good. I mean, now granted, it's not all-wheel drive good, but you know, it's like it's like an old rally car. It's like an old rally car. As we had one more corner and across the nine for the sheriff's car. Right. This is the vehicle that you typically find in the desert, a Rebel V8, made by Karen, and it's all-wheel drive, so it has a much better advantage on the dirt. And the sand has an off road suspension. And immediately, it pulled quite a lead. And it kind of just kept going and going. However, this is a very good vehicle. But it doesn't exactly have the handling of the policeman officer's car. And since it crashed and rolled on a rock, I, call, I claimed victory and we moved on. Now, this vehicle, as I said earlier, was 20 years old by 2015, and they needed a replacement, so... Vapid got them a replacement. In the form of the brand new Interceptor. Still rear-wheel drive, but it's a turbocharged V6, making almost 400 horsepower. And that means... It is quite fast, and... Quite fun through the corners. Although that's not the police intention, as I shall now demonstrate. 
Ooh, suspension is a bit wobbly, but it is, it's very good at drifting, it's very good at sliding around, I'll tell you that, very good at sliding around, you just hit the handbrake, 1970s cop movie, slam through there, handbrake, let that turbo kick in, wheel spin, and it has steel wheels, so it's better if you hit a curb, which means <laughs> you can just about survive impacts. <laughs> Now, of course, the police are not going to be sliding around like a 70s cop show in this vehicle. And if they're in a car chase, they are going to be fast. So, how fast is the Interceptor? Well, let's find out. Alright. Ooh, about the same amount of wheel spin, it is as to be expected. Turbo's kicking in, come on, there's two, 0 to 65 and a half seconds. Not bad. It's only faster than your average SUV. Right, that's 80 miles an hour, 90 miles an hour. Come on, baby, come on. That's 100 miles an hour now in the storm drain in a police car. This is a 1970s movie. This thing is quick. <laughs> Now, that being said, I need to test the police in a proper car chase. So, I got myself a muscle car, and we'll see just how well they can do. So let's get their attention, shall we? All right, that should get their attention. Yep, yes it has, yes it has. Ooh, uh, there's lots of policemen officers over here now, in there, in both interceptors, oi. Invest in interceptors and the traditional old school police cars and the whole wing. Come on, guys. <laughs> you almost took me out. That was bloody close. Ooh. A little bit of oversteer now. Get on the 800 horsepower drag car. Here we go. Surely they can't catch this, right? I mean, they drove into a minivan. That does help. But, you know, semantics. All right, one on our tail, one on our tail. I know we're gonna use the classic 70s. Let's flick it to the corner. Flicking to the corner didn't work. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. All right, and shortcut, shortcut. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Ah, I have defeated you. I have defeated you, policeman officers. You can't catch me through here. Oh, air time! There was air time in the police car behind me! They are a credit where credit is due. It's very committed, these officers. They're very committed to the cause. Ooh. <laughs> but, whoop, sorry, I do apologize about your innocent vehicle getting run into by an 800 horsepower drag car. You know, this, this stuff happens from time to time. Oh, it, it seems they have acquired a helicopter to go chase me. That's not a car, this is cheating. Hey, well, that's definitely cheating. We don't need any bloody gunshots here. I feel like this is getting a little out of hand. I will be honest. This is getting a little out of hand. Gunshots are a bit unnecessary, fellas. Ooh. Alright, we're on the freeway. I surely can outrun them here. Um, I'm not outrunning them. Oh, they just killed a panther. Whoa, ah, ah, ah. Well, I was gonna say they killed a panto, but they're nearly killing me. That's actually very effective on the police. Right. Let's shift it into high gear and use all 800 horsepower on my Sabre Turbo Custom. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need it badly. Right, have a nice straightaway. Are we running away from them? Let's see. We're kind of. We're kind of, but... It's a bit iffy. Ooh. That's very much iffy. They're not actually, uh, they're keeping up well and true. That's not good. Let's see if we can lose them to the tight corners then. If we can't lose them in the straights, let's see if we can lose them in the tight corners. Say, um, in this old industrial park, perhaps? That might be a good place. All right. Hairpin, yes, aha. Uh -huh. You do not have the agility of my muscle car, which means I can take a sneaky shortcut through here. Oh, this is much bumpier than I thought it would be. Much bumpier than I thought it would be. Oh, uh, 
That was very painful. That clock. Did I lose them? Did I? No, they're still there. God damn it. All right, fine. See if you and Bunny catch me here. Oh, surely I lost him there. Surely. There's no way they can follow me on that jump. No way at all. They did. They did. How is that bloody possible? They're just there. They never catch me, but they're always there. Steve, may I lose them through here? Come on. They're an 800 horsepower drag car, for Christ's sake. And he's right on your tail. This is outrageous. This is not going well. This is not going well at all. Right. Uh, come on. Oh, screw it. You'll never take me alive, coppers.